morning, and thank you for joining Happy Science Today's World of Wisdom with Prayer. Today's World of Wisdom is a vessel for the Holy Spirit. This phrase comes from the new book. The title is The Words for Building Character. And 35 and 36 master taught us like this. Don't think that your body is all yours. It is a gift from God and Buddha. And 36 say like this. Make your body a vessel for the Holy Spirit. So I'd like to you to think these two phrases. And also the new book, The Laws of Health. Uh, this will be published in a couple of weeks. And chapter two, Master says like this. Many people think human have the right over their own physical body. So I should be able to use it however I want. Many people think like that. But let me tell you, your physical body was gifted to you by your parents. So you must be grateful for that. But there is premise to that. God or Buddha exist. There exists a place called the spirit world, and there's a system reincarnation. Humans have been permitted to reincarnate. It means that exists God and Buddha, and they and that existence gave us this physical body. Therefore, ex existentialist. Existentialist thinking is virtually wrong. Some people may have acquired a victim mentality and may think, I was thrown into this world by chance. You can't choose parents, and I was born into such terrible family. But the truth is that everyone knows where they will be born before birth. If you choose to be born into a difficult environment, it means you have some kind of challenge to overcome for your spiritual training. Please know this. I want you to cherish and use your physical body carefully by telling yourself, my body is a holy temple for my soul to reside. It is neither good nor evil in itself. If you use knife well, for example, it can be used for cooking or peeling fruit, but it can also turn into a weapon if you use it to kill someone. In the same way, a physical body can become good or evil depending on the mindset of the person using it. Okay? So this part, a vessel for the Holy Spirit or our body is a holy temple, we should contemplate in it deeply. We may think, this is mine, so however I want, I can utilize it. But as now we study, we should use carefully. From the spiritual viewpoint, we are originally, essentially, spiritual being to have many experiences God and also our parents gave us chance and gave us chance to be here on earth using this physical body. So this physical body is the vessel or, or the um, kind of material that may uh, to be able to stay in this physical world. And how to use, of course, you can use however you want, but how to use it, very important, to entrain your soul or to hurt others. It depends on you, but the laws of cause and effect does exist. So if you use it for 
evil purpose. As we study now, the laws of hell, we should take the fruits, you know, that is sweet or bitter. Okay? And also, we can say like this. This is holy vessel, holy temple. So practicing spiritual discipline every day, you can receive more light, holy light, and you can feel the oneness, the oneness with Holy Spirit, with that tree, and also God. If you cannot feel the light of God every morning, every night, or every moment, because your holy body is not still not being holy body, but practicing and polishing your body, you can feel more and more the feeling of the light. And if you feel the oneness with God's light, you can utilize your original power, power of the mind, and power of the face. I want you to enjoy that the power you have within. So, Happy Science strongly recommend you to practice spiritual discipline every day. It's not so difficult to recite the holy word, holy word, the true words spoken by Buddha, study day by day teachings with Kyotens, and practice meditation. So spiritual discipline, not so hard to do, but to continue every day. Sometimes it's not so easy. So please practice easy discipline day by day and feel the light and use, make your body in true meaning a vessel for the Holy Spirit. And you will know you are one of the Holy Spirits. So this is my today's message. So now let us recite Happy Science Prayers. Lord El Cantare, Master Ryu Hokawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirit. The true words spoken by Buddha. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appeared the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly. Because of gathering of bodhisattvas, 
This is a land of love or the land of mercy. This is a land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is a land of souls. Rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. Their spirits are immortal powers. Their spirits are immortal forces. Their spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirit. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of life. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to paddle in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens their purity. Or to put it another way, the fruit of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by. Yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is a reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite some people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of Bodhisattva. Believe in that, the light has reality. Believe in that, love has reality. Believe in that, the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we bow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for joining. So have a wonderful day.